I went to this private school for a few years and on the campus they had kindergarten all the way to high school and when I was 13 I would have to wait after school for one of my parents to pick me up so yeah, I get hired of waiting one day I started walking around school and I saw where the kindergartners and the first graders have daycare on the playground and I'm like you know what I should go fight these kids I don't know why that was the first thought that popped into my head it wasn't real fighting okay it was play fighting relax but I just walked over to the gate opened it up the teachers have seen me around school so they know I go there and I would just start play fighting so here's the weird part I loved that power of having like 15 kids charging at me and I was taking them all out I'm not exaggerating not lying not kidding this was like a daily activity for me i never told anybody this i come up in there like Phew. i'm batman and you guys picked the wrong day to rob gotham national city bank come at me bro i'm waiting for my parents to pick me up now looking like i just came from a fight club every day so then one day in actual class miss thompson gets up so apparently we have to have like a class president to teach you guys about elections or some crap. I don't know. Why am I even doing this? I'm the homeroom teacher. This is a job for your, your history teacher or something. Who wants to be class president? We need to pick three people. So me on this power kick that I'm on, I raise my hand like, whatever. I don't. Plus, there's this girl in my class, Jane, that I had a really big crush on. I partially wanted to impress her. She could be my little, my little first lady squeeze. So yeah, I raised my hand and Tina B and Jeremy W. My cousin Shane was in my class with me, so I picked him as my vice president. Tina B picked Robin. Jeremy, I don't think he even picked the vice president. He was just riding solo. And honestly, I don't know what I was thinking. You know, I was already leading a double life. What I was trying to do was the equivalent of Batman running Wayne Enterprises, fighting crime by night, and then running for mayor. I didn't need all the stress. Day before the election comes, Tina B comes in here with PowerPoints and graphs. She had pictures of her kissing babies in third world countries. Bruh, I was totally caught off guard looking at this like, is this the sixth grade? Or did I just step into an episode of West Wing? I'm very confusion. And the teacher looks at me. Like, okay, wait, it's your turn, I guess. I get up there. Um, I will make sure we get less homework. And then everybody's like, yeah! Yeah, um, yeah, less homework, first of all. Secondly, um, two hour lunches. Yeah! Also, um, you vote for me, everybody here gets free puppies. Yeah, oh my god, yes! I had the kids in my class so worked up, OPD sent the SWAT team over. Okay, okay, settle down in here. Hi, right, Jeremy, you wanna get up there and say anything? Mm mm. You just gonna let Tina. Go up on up there and kiss little babies from Haiti, and you ain't gonna do nothing about it? Mm-mm. Adan, they pretty much promised four-day weekend. You gonna sit there like a little punk? You ain't gonna do nothing? Mm-mm. So, you know, during this whole campaign that I'm running for, I don't really flirt with Jane that much, because I'm trying to stay focused. You know, I'm playing, I'm playing hard to get. The teacher gets up in front of the class. All right, um... <sighs> I, I skipped breakfast. I'm getting kind of cranky. I'm gonna go to Chick-fil-A. Everybody write a name down on a piece of paper, pass it up, when I get back, I'll count them and we'll, you just, you, I'm out, I'm out. Do what it do, I'm out. And then Jane taps me on my shoulder and I'm figuring she's about to be like, good luck, I'm in a vote for you. That's what I'm figuring she's about to say, right? Taps me on the shoulder, I'm like, what's up? Can you, can you, can you tap Sean for me, please? Sean is this light-skinned dude that sits in front of me. He's six foot tall in the sixth grade. I don't understand how, I don't know what hormone pills he's taking. Anyways, Sean turns around. How about Jane busts out with some? Sean, will you be my boyfriend? What? You wanna be my girlfriend? Yeah. Okay. So anyways, teacher counts the votes. <laughs> okay. Well, it looks like Adonde's the class president. The instant I got it? I didn't even want it. Not even because of the whole Jane situation, right? I go over to the teacher and I'm like, hey, I don't wanna, I, I back out of my presidency. I can't deal with all the stress. You know, I got a full-time job, part-time job, school, bills, kids, car payment. I got all the stuff to worry about. I can't be dealing with any new responsibilities on my plate right now, okay? So when I resigned, Shane became acting president. Shane felt the power for like five minutes and then he was like, I resign. Jeremy, the one who put the least amount of work into all this, 
ended up being the president. That's like the guy who does the least amount of work in the group project and gets an A. That was Jeremy. The only real winners in this was Jeremy and Sean. Let's be clear. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for uh, coming and listening to my TED Talk.